they don't think that they have value. And if you think you have value, then you go, I'm good. I, I'm good. I, I, and, and that, but they, I don't think that people really understand that. You know, there's so much where people are insecure about, they're insecure about what their value is. And then one was this, and, there, and, there, and there's, a, there's an undenying idea. It's like, you know, I don't know if you ever seen that, that, that commercial where the lady goes to Ikea and then she's running out of the store with a whole bunch of bags and she's going, Henry, start the car. The reason why she's running out is because she's going, the prices are so low that she feels like she's, the prices are so low, she feels like she's stealing. So she wants to get out of the parking lot before they change their mind. If you're, if you're operating in your life in a way where you're going, Henry, start the car, it's because you don't really feel like you have value. You feel like somehow you've gotten over. Whereas when you're working on yourself and who you are and, and you're trying to be the best version of yourself, you don't feel like, like my time is just as important as your time. In fact, your time might not even be as important as mine. And now I get to know you and I go, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I don't, I'm, I, I don't, I don't want to spend time with you. And I don't care whether you don't fuck me or you don't do fuck me or whatever or how attractive you are. It's, I care about the character of where you are. So I think that's, the problem is that people are not working. Everybody's trying to find the technique. How can I get more of what I don't? What your thought on that? Because I, I kind of feel like you agree, you don't agree, or what? My thought, my thought? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And just to play devil's advocate, too, I d d totally agree with you. But also, too, what, how is the woman actually saying no? Like, she might not be honest with herself. Exactly. Right? I mean, exactly. is she really saying no? Right, right. Or, you know, which, you know, you don't know. Is she confident in herself to say, get a, get the fuck away from me? Right. And if she says, yeah. get the fuck away from me, and the guy is still pushing, it, you didn't, re like, when you say, get the fuck away from me, what you're saying is, this is my fucking line. And anything past that is pretty much, is, a, is an assault. But if you and most people get it, most right. guys get yeah. it. Yeah. So that's the thing where I'm thinking that maybe they're not uh, confident in themselves to actually say no. So yeah, so I, I think it narrows down to loving yourself, working on yourself, right. right, and being confident before you can go out into the world with and be with anybody. Yeah, and, and I, I think you got to be honest. You got to be honest about what your value is because if you really, and don't get me wrong, I, I, you know, like I do, I do the consultations. I like, I do relationship consultations and stuff. And, and the thing that I, I, you know, there's always some guy that will say to me, you know, I, I dated this girl and we, we had a great date, but I, um, you know, I, uh, I don't know, you know, how long should I wait before I, I call. I said you should call her back whenever the fuck you want to. Like if you want to call her back the next day, you call her back the next day. Now if she says, "Oh, he called me back too soon. He likes me too much," that's an insecurity on her part because she's saying you like me more than you should. Because I know I ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> so why, if I know I ain't shit and you like me, there's something wrong with you? You man, school two o two. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man.